Oh, that's heavy. Good workout. Yep. Uh, look out, man. It's Camp Ken. Now that's how I want those guys to behave. Those are my pair of rhinos that I've had for many years and I'm always walking by them. They're very tame, very nice animals. So hopefully by moving them to an area that's more high traffic, I'll be able to get them down too. So we'll all watch. We'll watch the progress. Some nice I mean, rock right here. What's that? That's some nice rock. I know, this is really cool. Um, good old friends at Yardscape or Yardco Rocks down in Boynton hooked me up because uh, they like what I'm doing here and they want to see these animals have the best possible life and the best possible life means naturalistic stone. So I'm really appreciative. We got a couple pallets because there's going to be some builds coming up here soon and uh, this rock's going to come in very handy to make these habitats look just spectacular. So I'm kind of picking out some larger pieces that'll cover the ground, okay, that we can kind of arrange and cover the ground the wire and then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. We want some small pieces to fill any gaps. If I have to break some, I can break some to make them even smaller. But this is Texas limestone, so it'll be pretty cool I think, man. Uh, I think another big piece. Oh look, this piece is kind of neat because it's got some right angles, which will go good along the borders. It looks like I'm hoofing it over there with these pieces. Grab some. Maybe. Oh, there you go. All right. Now, if any of you lay pavers, um, feel free to let me know how I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> I'm just kind of gonna eyeball it up, guys. All right, because it's four reptiles, and I'll show you what I'm actually talking about. All right, hand me. So which one? Bigger I don't one? know. A bigger one with a right angle. Let me ask you something. What, a bigger one with a right angle, oh, buddy. Right angle. The there next one under. Yeah. Hold on. What's what? So how's this helping putting this down? Oh, this is going to make it more beautiful. Instead of the mulch, um, what it does is it kind of allows it to get heated up by the sun. When we remove one of the surface, pour, uh, surface uh, roofs, I don't know if I want to do that actually, because I'd have to put on a wire. We're gonna have to figure something out. I may not do it in this video because it's hot. Also, when weather comes in, it could get crazy in here. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I like the look of it. Um, it's gonna be warmer. I could spray it off. It's easier to clean. Um, also, no, no, uh, no, nothing. No mulch on the bottom at all. Okay. No, I'm gonna put pebbles in between the joints of these tiles. So oh. let's uh, get me something you think might fit in there. It's too wide. Let me see. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is too wide. Yeah. Unless you pull it back and you get a smaller one at to top. Uh, let me just. Here, well, here you go. This one. That one goes there. This one will do it. Put the other way. A little puzzle piece. Yeah. That's fine because, like I said, we're going to put right. some pebble in there. All right. Got another right angle of some sort. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is kind of fun. It's, you know, it's. A little bit labor intensive, but who cares? <laughs> All right, what else we got? I'll just, let's just start getting them in there and you can change yeah. them around. Sounds good. Okay. Gosh, that would be perfect. That's nice. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff to work with. Now, I should have my rock hammer, because that would have made it easier, but this works too. Nice and tight. Yep. All right, what else do we got? Some small ones. Small ones. Thank you. Uh, just even doing that. There's a really small one right here if you want. Thank you. And again, I don't mind a 
grass grows up on this, but we just want it. You can even stack them like that. Here, let's have some more, mate. Awesome. This, this rock's actually great. It's light. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to work with. It feels like it's cement, and not rock. Or it is rock. It's lighter than it's cement. Just a nice light limestone. And the last one, please. Big boy. All right. Anyway, I just like you know we've created some topography here. Oh, some topography. I think it looks cool. It's just a simple thing. If grass grows up between it, I'm fine with that. So we got that. We got to get some logs in here. But first, I want to get the gravel. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I think that pea gravel will look nice filling the joints of that. So let's go do that next. Good grief. Let me ask you, Tom, what do you think? Do I use some of this white rock? Or should I use some of this nice Chattahoochee? To go in between. I mean, this will this blend better? The white rock that blends right in with it. Yeah, that gives it some definition. Like, but it's a floor, so you're not gonna. It's gonna turn dirty anyway. That's so what I think. You probably I'd wasted save it that if you good, that. Yeah, I want to save that good rock. Let's use what's left. I would say if that was out for people, use that. It would look cool. But for yeah. lizards, uh, they don't care. Yeah, and I like the fact that this is a little bit bigger too. In case you get any kind of, you don't want any accidental ingestion. So let's use this. That'll fill the joint. But I just kind of want to see, I want to give you guys an idea of how things are laid out, man, and how much work it really is if you want to take care of these animals and you want to do it right. You know, I have uh, all this gravel in certain areas. There's a little. So, I know some of you guys asked how I stay in shape. To be honest, you're looking at it. Work, move the body. There's no secret. Move the body, pick those up, put them back down. Oh, look who it is. I love coming over here because Nostradamus huh. and Socks like to come over and say hello. And whenever you're working in the yard, guys, it's so cool because when you're outside, you're seeing the animals. You're always keeping an eye on things and it does two things. One, you know that the animals are okay. They're behaving normally. And two, well, isn't it cool to work someplace where you get to see all the animals? kind of a dream come true. It makes the work a little less horrible. This should look really good. These rocks are also bigger. They won't fall through the grating at the bottom. Not as easily anyhow. All right, come on over this side. I'm gonna first pick up some of these because we're gonna keep the ones that are actually on the ground on the ground so I can fill in those gaps. Then I'll place these back on top of the ones on top of the gravel, the drain field rock rather. And that'll be that. We'll get some in there too. Hopefully, I'm hoping the two buckets will be all I need. Look out, buddy. Oh, it should be more than enough. Okay, it's not rocket science, we're just going to smooth it around. Smooth it around. Very good. I like that. Also, even though that some of this limestone's dark, the rock around it is light, so it won't overheat. But in the summer, uh, overheat in the summer, but in the winter with this dark limestone, I'll spray this off too. Uh, it'll actually help keep heat in. And I need to get back out. Watch yourself not to hurt yourself. Those little plants got a little trampled. <laughs> What's that? Those little plants got a little trampled though. That's okay. It's Florida. They will grow back quick. Whew. Okay. 
Hey, I think this looks good. I can even take some of this. If you look, I could take some of this stuff. Kind of give it multi levels, man. Yeah, right, exactly. You know? Now That's we got cool. multi levels. This is cool. Hey, I think rock iguanas will appreciate rock. rock. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that feels nice and warm. It's like it's just very warm. Nice. This is not going to be their permanent home, but this is... You know, I feel like you with the rocks, it's a little like uh, Bob Ross. You know, oh, <laughs> you know, Ross. this is, look, we can make a nice little... There are men, here, you know, that... yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are guys, though, that are just so good with this, and I love it. I'm learning, and uh, all you need to learn is to love something, and uh, you'll get it going. So, who knows where I'll wind up. My buddy Mark Colette, you guys know Mark. Um, from Artistic Stone, he really is the guy that got me into rock. Rock is like gold down here in Florida. All right, I'm buying this, and what do you think? That's cool, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I love it. I can just live there, and then since we've got it, I'll just put this guy over here just for the heck of it. Push that down. We got big rock everywhere. And now with this, you're going to have to maintain it more and spray it down often, I would think. Um, no? yes, I think so, but it's not that big a deal. It's a lot easier to just spray something than search through it and look for it. Okay, let's get some logs back in here and have that going. i got to walk back out and get those logs. We're getting close. i got to remember how I had these. I think that one went up top, right? All right. Hmm. To me, that's like such a simple idea to screw it. Yeah. And uh, I think it's something that wouldn't occur to everybody. You know what I mean? No. Just screw with a large up. washer through your wiring, and you just need to hold it steady. All right. And now they can't rearrange the furniture. Well, they can't. It can't fall and hurt them, which is good. You know. Um, and we'll do the same here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I like it. Okay, I need that one more screw, and I got to go on the other side. You may have to hold the um, log on the okay. side, like push it against. Yeah, it. yeah. I'm just gonna come in right here. No, you know what? I'll come in over here. This will. Secure it nicely and just hold that log. I think that's it. Let go. See, move it a little. All that's right, that's fine. good. That's yep. good. All right, cool. Now we get our water. Check this out. So, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. So, since we have a natural waterfall here. I don't gotta go, oh Jesus, <laughs> I don't gotta go far for water. All right, here. Okay. Let's go get the lizards. We'll get the female back in, we'll doctor up the male, we'll let him go, we'll call it a day. So you can see he's really banged up. There's some soft flesh there. Something we're gonna have to remedy. I don't want this to progress. 